Hey everyone, it's Blue Parappa back with Dragon Fable. Last time we went on a Valencia quest that we probably didn't need to go on, but it's fine, because we have a bunch of eggs, and we're gonna go visit a wizard. Five eggs? Wowzers! Which one is the real dragon egg? I know, use the portal and ask Walric the mage to help. Walric? Five eggs? You have the- You have five eggs, which all look like dragon eggs. Use the travel griffin near the guardian tower to visit Walric. He is a powerful mage who may know the secret to figuring out which one of these is the real dragon egg. Cool. Oh, wait. Twilly. No. Twilly, I need you. I need you to carry me. I don't want to run all the way to Valencia to help have her carry me, so I'm gonna do this on my own. And yes, I'm instead of taking the portal, which would be quicker, I'm doing it this way. Not really sure why. Oh, hey, this is new to me. A young traveler, though out of shape it seems, he looks like he's about to pass out relatable. I went on a hike. Oh, this music's cool. Veta Roach. I hope there aren't any, like, monsters. Oh, the lighting effects is nice here. I feel bad because it's not being applied to me, but, you know. This is really nice. Oh, and there's more music. That pond looks really nice, too, and there's the portal we could have just went through, but we didn't. I'm glad I took this detour. It's really... it was nice. Hello, are you Walric? Oh, your art looks... No, I'm get... I saw this before. It's just funny when you click a sprite and you get this very, like... Fli like, much nicer sprite than the last few people we've talked to. Interesting. Very interesting. I am Warlick. It's been Warlick this whole time? One day I'll be able to read. I am Warlick, the blue mage. How can I help you, rogue? Elementals, random quest, other quest, dragon egg. A dragon egg is not a matter to be taken lightly. Let us be swift with this most interesting quest. Walric's tent. A dragon egg? So you have five eggs and can't tell them apart? Interesting. Please step into the tent and tell me more. Enter the tent. Wow, this is a lot more roomy than it looks from the outside. I wouldn't have expected the stone walls inside a tent. It's a green screen, don't worry about it. Oh, we're not in a tent. That is just a portal that leads to my mage tower. We pay a little more for the extra dimensions, but we thought it would be worth the rent. We? Yes, me and my roommate. Sice... Si si Cicero. He's our decent roommate, mostly because he's gone most of the time. I, got, I can relate to these jokes now because I've had roommates, though, so, you know, mine is great right now. I can't complain. Anyway, Twilly told me how these eggs came into your possession. You've had quite an adventure so far. Yeah, it was. that's one way to put it. I have begun doing research on the black and white dragon boxes. The texts are ancient and difficult to translate, but it looks bad. If I'm correct, the texts say that this egg will hatch the... Great dragon that will destroy all of lore. What? We may be able to avert this catastrophe, but first we will need to reveal which egg is the true dragon egg. I have put a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling about this one, but we will need a powerful sp a power spell to dispel the illusion. Illusion? I don't see any illusion. Of course not. It's an illusion. All dragon eggs have a natural magic illusion around them that helps protect them. I have to find a spell powerful enough to counter the dragon magic on the egg. While I do the my research, make yourself at home. Feel free to make yourself a snack while you wait. I won't be very long. Watch the egg that will destroy lore carefully. Fix myself a snack? Ten minutes later. Boots, I have great news! As it turns out, I believe that you have the egg that will... Hatch the dragon that will save all of lore from destructive- <laughs> Don't worry, Ralric, I- War- Warlick- It's gonna be really hard for me to say his real name, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Warlick, I have already handled the problem in my own way, and it's delicious. Want some? How- Why did you have a frying pan this big? Uh, no, no, thank you. So you, uh, cooked the egg? Yep. You cooked the dragon that would have saved the world. And then I ate part of it. You said it was going to destroy the world. You said to fix a snack. Quickly, de 
Did the eggs taste like honey and mackerel? No, it tasted like a fried egg. Okay, then it wasn't the dragon egg. One sure way to tell if an egg is a dragon egg is the taste test. Woo, so did you find a spell that would tell us which is the real egg without tasting it? Unfortunately, no. The magic is very strong. We will have to summon a creature that feeds on dragon eggs to dispel the illusion for us. I will need your help, hero. The ancient tome of summoning lies high in my tower, behind a barrier that I cannot pass. Oh, some sort of magical force field that you can't penetrate? Not exactly. The tome is on Sieso's side of the half of the tower. You see, his insane experiments and dirty laundry were driving me nuts, so we pla painted a yellow line separating his half from mine. Warlick, that isn't a very mature solution. Think so? Let's see if you feel that way after fighting past his magical accidents and his enchanted filthy laundry. Complete quest. <laughs> In an attempt to save your world, you cooked the egg that you thought was the dragon egg. Luckily, you were wrong. Also, just making a fried egg and not an omelet. I mean, an omelet. Come on, boots. You should be classier than this. So I know I should definitely go invite Valencia, but let's try doing this cla this thing solo without someone having to carry me. Uh, dragon egg. Tome. A dragon egg is not a matter to be taken lightly. Let us be swift with this most interesting quest. Oh no, we're... The this egg glows in the dark! Also, why is this cut off? <laughs> you- there are only four now. At, you, at least you are not hungry anymore. I don't know what's happening here. Uh... You must re-enter my mage tower and recover the Tome of Summoning from the uppermost floor to the tower. Just duct taped, or I guess it's, he said it was painted. Ooh, a sock monkey. A sideways window. Oh, never- I think I'll be able to do this. Do you ever just have a monkey kick you in the face? I haven't, because there aren't monkeys where I live. Ah, another one. A laundry golem. I don't even know what this one is supposed to be, but it does look vaguely fabric-like. Mm -hmm. I like how, even though it's a laundry, it still has bags under its eyes. What a mood. Did it. Uh, no, this guy. Bugbear is affected with days. It is pretty cool seeing all, like, a different artist's interpretations of, like, D&D monsters, I guess. Because, like, this, to me, looks like a- Oh, it's supposed to be a teddy bear. That makes more sense. To me, it's always looked like a bulldog. I guess it being a bear, a teddy bear makes- Works too. I'm a fan of when people make bugbears just look like just normal bears. Oh no. The books keep rearranging themselves. I guess they like to be messy. We've been there, haven't we? I guess I'll just do that. Hello. Just kick him in the shins. But a laundry golem even have nerves? Surely the benefit of making a, like, a cloth golem would be the lack of, like, bones. They could just slip into anything, like an octopus. Oh, that bookshelf sparkly. I wonder what's happening there. Oh. I like his little run. He doesn't even punch me with his sock hands, he just kicks me in the face. Missed opportunity. Lol, nice. Okay, sparkly bookshelf. Ah, the healing power of books. It's like, uh, what, what's the Game of Thrones quote? A mind needs books like a sword needs a whetstone? I've never watched Game of Thrones. 
And by the sound of it, I uh, dodged a bit of a bullet there. No. Thanks. Ooh, it's... I don't know what makes bugbears a dark type, but I... It... I guess I just questioned it, so I can't say I won't question it. Attack. Hmm. Ah, Twilly. Can I go through this door? You- your hand passes through the handle. Weird. Okay, I guess I won't question what's in that room. I don't know, seeing all these cloth-based creatures just reminds me I haven't made a plush toy in a while. The problem with making, like, physical pieces of art is that they take up space. And, uh... Uh-oh. Maybe that's why- I mean, digital's on the rise because it's, like, pretty accessible, but I- Or, you know, relatively accessible. But, like, maybe, like, the- or, not maybe. Just the biggest, like, boon of it is you don't have to worry about, like, like, I want to make more things, but I can't. Ah, the window is in sideways you are. You're running up in the inside of the- the wall of the tower. Okay. Cool. I'm not sure what these are- s oh. He just sonicked me. We've all been there. Thanks, Twilly. Once again, I feel like that could have been a- just from the animation alone, that should have been a double hit. Oh, that's how we know, because the... Okay, that makes sense. C minus? I think Walwick deserves a bit more than that. Bogabus. Bogabus? Bogabus. Yeah. I'm glad that this one did manage to get stunned. Probably shouldn't have recorded this today, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. But, you know, I want to try to get one of these out at least every other day. Oh no, he's... he's sticking out of the screen. After discovering that you were walk were walking along a hall you were not walking along a hallway, but in fact walking sideways up the tower and successfully figured your way up past Cicero's accidental creations and enchanted piles of dirty laundry, you have found the spell book. To the heel pad. Not sure why there's a heel pad when I think you can ask him to heal you. Yeah. Uh, the strings of flame. We must summon an unspeakably powerful creature to determine which egg is the right one. To summon it, I require several ingredients. One, bag of fire yarn. Venture into the fire cave north of here and see if you can find the bag of fire yarn. Oh no. Let's see. Weapon shop. Let's see if you- Boots, I appreciate you helping my friends in the mining town. I have not done that. Uh... Well... As much as I want to just continue the dragon egg quest line, my... Weapon probably isn't great for that. So I guess I'll... Just try to do a quest to see if I can get... Either level up or, uh... Get a different one. Something has thrown the elementals in the area out of balance. My friends in the mining town of Limcrest are having some problems with them. 
Several of the mine shafts in the area have become infested with dangerous elementals. Wait, no, we can... The letter. Thank you for coming so quickly, Boots. There is a new threat amassing, and I believe that you may be our only hope. What's wrong? I have been following your adventures closely. You've fought a lot of garbage. Uh, I must say, so far I am impressed. But a great darkness is coming, and our side is not prepared to handle it. What can I do? I side with the dark. What can I do to prepare myself? I sense great power within you, which will attract this new threat. You must arm yourself with a weapon powerful enough to drive back this new threat. I see. Go on. I have recently come into the possession of several powerful weapons of light. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about last time that you guys, like, told me what to do, so thanks for that. Great. I'm afraid that they are rather useless at the moment. They have lost their magical charge. Ah, so how do we charge them up that again? If you would be willing to pay for the cost of the spell and gather the missing parts, then they are yours. What do you need me to get? I have read for a- I have read of a cave far from here. Inside grows a crystal tree. A single shard from the tree could power all of these weapons. Sounds easy enough. How do I get there? You- I can teleport you there and back again once I sense the power of the crystal shard in your possession. Convenient. I'm ready. Hello. Wow. Yeah. They're vaguely transparent. Oh. He just, the bear just disappeared after he died. It's like Buffy logic with vampires. Also, if I may go on an unrelated tangent about Buffy in, a ga in the game that isn't about vampires. Uh, season 3 was weird. <laughs> you, for context, me... I've been watching Buffy for the first time. And... Like, season 3 had, like, one of the most memorable villains. The mayor's pretty great. But then, like, the first half is just really annoying because it's like, Buffy's legit just having pe- Buffy's like, I have to kill the person I love in, like, pretty cold blood. And I'm kind of messed up about the whole thing. But everyone's just super unsympathetic. It's like, gee, Buffy, why did you, like, leave us so we had to be, like, the slayer for, like, a few months? God. But I guess that one time you left to go to California to be with your dad, that was cool. And it's like... I get the th And I guess, like, it's one thing for, like, the teen characters to be like that, because they're all dumb. And, like... Self-centered, but, like... Her mom is also, like... Man, you ran away, but I'm not gonna, like, try to talk... But I'm not gonna try to understand your plight at all. And then, of course, like, the only one who understands, like, you know, Buffy had a bit of a hard time. We should, like, like, eventually she'll tell us, but, you know, for now, maybe we should just be happy she's back as Giles, because Giles is the best. And then they just have, like, a giant party where she's gonna get overwhelmed. I don't know. The beginning of season three is... Oh, Buffy is bad. I'm sorry, I went on this tangent. Not as bad as, like, the weird hyena episode in season one. That's still the worst one. I don't know... if we should watch season... four of Buffy or go, like, right into Angel. I don't know, it'll probably be a while since we- before I continue watching it. Yeah. Bear? If I remember correctly, it's better to go up this way. Hmm. 
No. Twilly! Oh, damn it. I forgot to do the thing. Manual pet actions, there we go. I forgot to fix that. There was a bunch there. Maybe it was better to go this way, I don't... It's probably not, but you know, it's worth getting the XP if we have to go back. Nothing wrong with exploring. Thanks, Twilly. Uh, okay. It's skip. Feed. That makes sense. He just attacks you with a bloomin' onion. I've only had a bloomin' onion once, I think. Yeah, right, it is the other way. I guess the bad thing about the pet action is you still don't, like, control exactly what it does. You can just control it to skip. Which, you're right, would have been useful. Which is useful when, like, they're the wrong attribute. I guess. Attribute element. Um... Imagine how much worse Pokemon would be if, like, sometime when something just wasn't very effective against something, it just, like, regained health. Is it, like, Water Absorb that- it's like there's an ability that does this. It's like Water Absorb or something. I haven't played Pokemon in a long- in what feels like a long time. <sighs> I hear the DLC for Sword and Shield is good, but I technically haven't even beat Sword and Shield yet. I still need to fight Leon. Yes, this part. This is the best idea I've ever had. This is the worst idea I've ever had. Best idea ever. Go across. Also, it just got much girthier between scenes. There we go. Great taste, less filling. It It is filling, though. Maybe it'll only do mana once. Man, I feel bad. These bears are pretty cute. And that person who usually doesn't... I don't know. I have ambivalent feelings about bears. Ah, yes, this one. Hmm. I don't want to be mean. But, like... <laughs> it legit looks like it was drawn in MS Paint. Oh, I see. We just take the toxic damage. Eleven. Ooh. <laughs> we blocked the poison gas. Have you ever just tried to breathe something bad in and your lungs were just like, Not today, Satan. Thanks, Twilly. <laughs> I'm too good for the- My lungs are made of- there we go. Yay. Okay. What? Oh, Twilly. So, like... The spinning dagger attack is definitely... better, but I rem like... way, way, way back in the day... like, your rogue would just, like, run up and, like, stab him. Like, twice with the dagger. And these, uh, this design's definitely more in line with that line of attack. Yeah, we're gonna beat up, beat up a tree. Oh, 
Oh, good. <laughs> oh, man. Try hitting me now, tree. Man, imagine if, like, X death from Final Fantasy V looked like this. I've never actually played that one, I just know he's a tree from Dissidia. I like the color choices they did, though. They look... They look nice. Have you ever just thrown hands with a tree and it threw hands back? Like, literally? Kinda boring, it only has one back. Yeah! Fuck trees. Found crystal shard. You have found the shard left over from the crystal tree. Look in your temp inventory to see it. The mage Walric has promised to make you weapons of light in exchange for gathering a crystal shard from a fabled crystal tree deep within this cave. Hi. Crystal shard used. You hand the mage Walric the crystal shard that you collected and tell him the tale of your adventure in the glimmering crystal cave. I remember there used to be a cutscene. Four-legged living crystal beings? Is something wrong? I fear I may have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Is it possible that the tree she battled was actually a Vizalian? I wonder what impact this will have in the future. Adventure Quest Classic. Walric? I am Sar- Sorry, where was I? Ah, excellent work. To the weapon shop. Heal. And that's where I'll leave it for now. Uh, next time we'll continue the Dragon Egg quest line. And uh, I'll see you guys then.